Could you have imagined finishing the entire college syllabus for mathematics when you were just 11 years old? Do you even think that's humanly possible? No? What if I tell you that there is an Indian who did it? That too 135 years ago. While I was growing up, this person was my biggest inspiration. Let me give you guys a hint. He discovered the infinite series which first sparked my interest in theoretical mathematics. Yes. In today's video, we are going to talk about Srinivasa Ayangar Ramanujan, who in his short lifespan of just 32 years, took India and the world by storm. Let's find out in depth about this great personality. Let me take you guys all the way back to 1887, when the British India saw the birth of one of the most legendary mathematicians that India was about to produce. In the town of Erode of Tamil Nadu, Ramanujan Raman, was Raman. born. He was a born genius and his ability for mathematics was identified when he completed the entire syllabus which you need to learn mathematics in college at the age of just 11. An age where most kids suffer from math phobia. Isn't that impressive? This, my friends, was just the beginning of the self-taught genius's math marathon. At the age of 16, he developed the Bernoulli numbers and calculated the euler mascheroni constants up to 15 staggering decimal places. If you all want a separate video discussing the Bernoulli numbers and the euler mascheroni constants, then let me know in the comment section below. By this time, everyone around Ramanujan knew that he was one of a kind. I'm sure he became the go-to kid before the math exams in his school like I did during my school years. When he finished school, he was awarded the K. Ranganathan Award for his mathematical talent, which was the first formal recognition of his distinguished skill. An interesting fact to note here is how Ramanujan performed poorly at all other subjects. Even in mathematics, he just attempted only the questions that he found appealing. But this part is not to be taken as an inspiration, my friends. Failing college resulted in him not having a proper job and living in misery. However, life was about to turn the tables for our hero. At the age of 23, he met V. Ramaswamy Iyer, the then founder of Indian Mathematical Society, who understood his talent. In no time, Ramanujan was offered the role of a researcher in Madras University. This was when his talent started taking him places. His works were applauded by scholars from Cambridge University who invited him to the United Kingdom. And to give you a context, in the imperial times, an Indian being invited to Cambridge was a matter of great pride. Even though his mother did not want him to leave, owing to the traditional beliefs, Ramanujan went overseas in 1914 to chase his math dreams. He worked closely with distinguished scholars on math theorems and polished his works which were largely self-taught. If you all want a separate video discussing Ramanujan's works, let me know in the comment section below. His most popular work, which astonishes scholars even today, myself included, is the Infinite series. If you guys want a separate video on the Infinite series, let me know in the comment section below. Celebrated scholars were so impressed by his works that they went on to compare him with Euler. Watch out for our video on Euler on the channel. Despite cultural differences, Ramanujan had a fan following in the West at a time when Indians were largely discriminated against. Not only this, the hero of our story made India proud by becoming just the second Indian to be a part of the Royal Society at the age of 31. At the pinnacle of his career, <coughs> Ramarajan's health started worsening. He was diagnosed with tuberculosis and he gave in to the disease when he was 32 years old and succumbed to the disease. To share his discoveries and learnings to the world, Ramanujan's brother compiled all his works. His breakthroughs in mathematics continue to astonish and be discovered to this very day. As a matter of fact, his fourth notebook was discovered as late as 1976. Ramanujan's story must have left you all inspired. He is a prime example of someone who followed his passion and through it put his country on a global stage. And for more of such interesting content, subscribe to this channel. But before leaving, I have an important announcement for you. 
If you want to get rid of your math phobia, you can click on the link below and book a free demo session. Join the Bhanzu revolution now.